السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم On behalf of Marcus Sahaba, the voice of Ahlu Sunnah wal Jama'ah, we present to you lesson number 2278 of our daily nasiha and advice. Today, with the grace and mercy of Allah Jalla Wala, we focus on the 23rd of Rajab. Qala Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, the Master Habibuna sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, Laqinu mawtakum, you know there is a person, he is in the throes of death, in Sakarat what we call, his last moments, and remember any time now he will pass away. So you the people who are there, this is what you should do, read La ilaha illallah, La ilaha illallah. Don't instruct the person, just remind the person. And if you just read La ilaha illallah, also is sufficient. But if you read all this, that I'm telling you now, the hadith in Ibn Majah, so that is excellent. La ilaha illallah al-halim al Almighty Allah is very, very enduring, very, very generous. At that time, Allah's special mercy comes to that person, provided that he or she passes away with Iman and Islam. La ilaha illallah al-halim al Subhanallah rabbil arsh al Subhanallah, everlasting glory, perfection for Allah. So what is the greater meaning of Subhanallah? Huwa munazzahun anil uyubi wa naqais. Almighty Allah transcends every weakness, every shortcoming, every defect. He above, He transcends all that. Rabbil Arsh al He is the possessor of the magnificent throne. And remember, it's His majesty, His glory, His authority, His sovereignty alone. So, La ilaha illallah al-Halim al-Kareem. Subhanallah rabbil arsh al Alhamdulillah rabbil alameen. All praise is due to all Almighty Allah Jalla Wala, who is the sustainer, nourisher, provider of the entire universe. Can any king, any president, prime minister, for only human beings live all the other creation? Say, all of you come, today I will give you lunch, I will serve you supper. Not one. Allah giving us everything we require out of His benevolence and mercy, then the marine life, then the animals, then the other creation of all, Mighty Allah. Sahaba were always curious. Ya Rasul Allah, you mentioned about the people on the verge of leaving this world and dying. What about us? What about us that are alive if we read these words? La ilaha illallah al-halim al-kareem Subhanallah rabbil arsh al-azim Alhamdulillah rabbil alameen Qala ajwad wa ajwad Excellent, excellent Read it, read it even for you who are alive So may Almighty Allah grant us tawfiq That we remember Almighty Allah during our lifetime and just before our death also that we pass away on Iman. Amin, Amin, Ya Rabbul Alameen.